Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to find the number of stirrups in a beam. Let's consider uh, this is in a frame, uh, frame. You can see here the two columns uh, at the two ends while the beam is supported by these two columns. So it's like a simply supported beam. The beam dimension is like uh, only the length is given. You can see here the length of the beam is 30 foot and the uh, strips are used throughout the length of the beam and we are interested to find the how many number of strips are used in this beam. I, I just take an example to show how to calculate uh, the number of strips in beam. Let's consider uh, the, the strips used here is according to the American Concrete Institute ACI they use number of bars number 3 at 6 inches center to center. This example has been taken according uh, has been taken and solved according to the American standards. So the stirrups are used here as number 3 bar and they are placed at a distance of 6 inches center to center. It means the distance between each stirrup is 6 inches center to center. It means from one stirrup center to the another stirrup center throughout the length of the beam. So how to calculate the number of stirrups that how much they are used in this beam. So it's a simple formula to find the number of stirrups in a beam, the number of stirrups we can use by this formula that the total length of the beam dividing by the spacing of the stirrups that how much space uh, how much spacing between the each stirrups and adding it with the one I will also show that why we add one with this formula later so this formula is used like the number of stirrups is equal to the total length of the beam dividing by the spacing between the each stirrup and plus one so the total length of the beam here is we can see is 30 foot the spacing between each stirrup you can see here is in uh, inches, six, in, 6 inches into the center. So first of all we convert this 6 inches into foot. So it comes out to be 0.5 foot. Our each stirrup has been placed at 0.5 foot center to center. So dividing it by the same unit. So the foot foot has been cancelled and with the plus 1 the same. So uh, by dividing it with the calculator we get 60 plus 1. So it comes out to be 61. So, 61 number of strips are used in this beam having a length of 30 foot and having strips of at a distance of 6 inches center to center. So then we can know that the 61 number of strips are placed in this beam without looking uh, to the in the site. At the site. Now, we should know that how this one has been placed here. Let's consider if I take here, uh, let's consider this, these are the three strips and the whole distance is like 200 millimeter or something else and the distance between each stirrup is like 100 millimeter so now if it if we if i use this formula number of stirrups so the total length is 200 dividing by the spacing the spacing between each stirrup is you can see is 100 so we get two if i divide this we get two while the number of stirrups used here are three you can see one two three so that's why we add one with the formula so that we can get the exact number of stirrups because we actually avoid the last one. So that's why we add the one to get the exact number of stirrups in a beam. Hope you guys understand that how we calculate the number of stirrups. The main thing is to remember this formula that the total length divided by the spacing and with the plus one you can get you can easily calculate the number of stirrups in, 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 in any kind of beam. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.